Radhika of Ground and Grow Yoga and today we're going to be looking at easy seat. This is one of those postures that you're going to see in pretty much any yoga class anytime we come down to the mat. Today we'll look at what is traditionally done in easy seat and then some modifications that you can do to make it more comfortable for you. If you're curious what kind of props you might need, check out my video here and that will go through what you can use if you don't have any of these yoga props. Hop on your mat and let's get started. Traditionally, in easy seat, we're going to be sitting nice and tall. We're going to have the knees bent, feet and ankles underneath the knees. Usually the hands will either be up or down on the knees, depending on what kind of yoga practice is being done. And the main thing is making sure that the back is nice and straight. Some of the common issues people will face when in easy seat are their feet will fall asleep, their back will hurt or they'll be very rounded in the back, their hips will hurt or their ankles will hurt. Um, or along with the feet falling asleep, any kind of discomfort, like pins and needles, things like that. The easiest fix for easy seat and something that you can definitely do in a class is to take your block and we're going to sit right on the edge of the block so that our back is nice and straight. So sitting like this, it's going to be really hard for me to round backwards because I'm going to feel like I'm going to fall off the block. By having the block here, it's making it so I am sitting straight and that my spine is nice and long. Also, when I do that, I'm bringing one foot in front of the other. So this is also helping with my hips. I don't have any pinching in my hips because my hips are over my knees. My weight is still back on my seat, so my knees and feet shouldn't fall asleep. I'm not putting the pressure on them. Also, my ankles feel better this way because I don't have any crisscross pressure on that. And I just think this makes me feel more relaxed and open and easy seat. And usually blocks are available to you in a yoga class. The other things that you can do if you are having trouble in easy seat you could also use a bolster instead of block. Same principle. I would be more cautious with the bolster though because it is kind of like a pillow that you're not sitting in the middle of it and still rounding because it's really easy to do that and it's not as easy to do it on the block. If you're feeling any discomfort in the knees, you do have the possibility of bringing blocks under each knee, playing with the height and what you need here, because this supports the knee joint and allows it to be relaxed because it's not having gravity pull on it as it has the blocks there for support. So that's another possibility. I don't usually go to this one in easy seat, uh, but we have a posture coming up where this is really nice to have these underneath your knees. My final suggestion is that if you're at home, you can do easy seat sitting down. The couple things that you want to make sure though are that your feet are firmly on the ground. So scoot as much to the edge as you need to, just like you would if you were sitting on a block. And with us sitting like this, we want to make sure the back is nice and straight. So it almost feels as if you're leaning forward a little bit. Feet here, hips wide, no kind of crossing, and arms in the lap like this. So this is something that you can do because typically if we're doing easy seat, we're doing some sort of meditation, breathing exercise, or maybe something like a side stretch, or even a seated cat cow kind of thing. So you're able to sit in a chair easily to do those postures. So if it's hard to get on the floor and bend your knees and have that, this is a really nice alternative to still be able to do the rest of the yoga practice without easy seat. 
If you found any of these tips valuable, continue to follow along in my Return to Basics series to have some more ideas on how to make yoga poses work for you. If you enjoyed this video, check out the rest of my Return to Basics series. Also make sure you're subscribed so you know when a new video comes out. And leave a comment below if there's a particular type of yoga pose or breathing exercise that you are interested in learning more about. Remember to keep grounding down into your strengths and growing as an individual. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.